Glory, 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 hallelujah. My brothers, my sisters, right now, I want every last one of you right now today, let's praise, let's praise, let's praise, let's praise, let's praise our Heavenly Father God because He is so awesome. He is the same today, yesterday, and forevermore. It's another beautiful, blessed day today to always be in the presence of the Lord, to always step out on faith each and every day, to always trust Him each and every day, no matter what the situation looks like, no matter what the circumstances look like, we're always going to continue to step out on faith. We're always going to continue to trust Him, because at the end of the day, Jesus always knows what he is doing best and right now i know what it seems like right now today you might say well i've been in this situation for a long time not yet i still haven't seen anything yet my situation and my circumstance still looking the same i still haven't seen any progress right now but jesus is still working behind the scenes my brothers my sisters i go through the same thing by the end of the day we're going to continue to walk on faith we're going to continue to trust him we're going to say, you know what, Jesus, we might not know a way or see a way, but we believe. We believe in you and we are trusting you. So every day we're going to continue to walk on our faith. We're going to continue to trust you. We're going to give you, continue to give you the thanks. We're always going to give you the praise because you're worthy to be praised. Because we know at the end of the day that you have us in the palm of your hands. And we are trusting you right now today, Jesus. We are counting you right now today, today, Jesus. And we are depending on you right now today, Jesus. And right now, we just want to say thank you for who you are and what you have done. We want to give you the thanks right now. We want to give you the praise right now. We want to give you the glory right now in the mighty name of Jesus. So my brothers, my sisters, praise is an everyday thing. It's not an on and off switch thing. It's not a seasonal thing. It is an everyday thing because Jesus is the same today, yesterday, and forevermore. He never changes like the weather, and he never changes like we do. So right now, no matter what you're going through right now today, no matter what you're facing right now today, I want you to give Jesus the praise in his house right now. I said I want you to give Jesus the praise in his house right now. Lift up your voice right now and give Jesus the thanks and give him the praise. Glory, hallelujah. We're going to thank you right now. We're going to praise you right now. We're going to continue to walk on on faith right now. We're going to continue to trust you right now. But in the midst of all that, Jesus, we're going to praise you right now. I said we're going to praise you right now. We're going to praise you right now because you are worthy worthy to be praised you are worthy to be praised and you are worthy to be praised jesus glory hallelujah our god is awesome he is so amazing he is so faithful he is so kind he is so joyful that's why i love him that's why i love him that's why i love him glory hallelujah that's why i love him the way that i do amen Amen, amen. Glory, hallelujah, my brothers, my sisters. It's always another beautiful, blessed day today to be in the presence of the Lord, just to give him thanks and praise. I don't know about you, but I love giving him the thanks. I love giving him the praise. I love giving him the glory. I just love magnifying this, meditating on his words and his promises because he is promise. He is our everything. Amen, amen. My brothers, my sisters, I want to thank every last one of y'all for taking y'all time out out of y'all busy schedule to always listening to another word and another message that's coming from my Heavenly Father God. I want to let you know how thankful I am each and every day of y'all. I want to let you know how grateful I am, how honored and how blessed I am for y'all guys being so faithful to this ministry, being obedient to this ministry and to Jesus. Without y'all guys, this ministry will not be going, any, going anywhere, but I thank y'all from the bottom of my heart. I am so grateful and thankful for every last one of y'all. I am so blessed to have y'all guys in my path. Minister LT, I want to let you know how thankful I am. How much I appreciate every last one of y'all each and every day. But this is always taking the time out. Y'all guys could be doing anything else. Y'all could be listening to another ministry. But y'all chose to listen to Jesus' ministry. Y'all can be doing something else, but y'all choose to take the time out of y'all schedule to listen to another word and another message. Thank y'all for being faithful. Thank y'all for being obedient. And thank y'all for being good servants. I know for a fact that Jesus is doing a new thing in every last one of you life, my brothers and my sisters. I say I know for a fact that Jesus is doing a new thing 
in every last one of y'all guys' life. That's Isaiah 43, verses 18 through 20. He is doing something new in y'all life right now today. Amen. Glory, hallelujah. Y'all got us so blessed. Yes, y'all are. Nobody know who told y'all y'all were blessed. Y'all guys are blessed. And y'all are highly favored. Amen. Amen. And before we get started today, I always like to come and always announce this. Is there anybody out there in the world right now today? Is there anybody out there in the world today right now today? They want to give their life to Christ right now today. And if you're ready to give your life to Christ right now today, just head to the altar right now today or just head in your room right now today. Don't be shy about it. Do not be worried about who's looking at you or what somebody might think or say about you. Because I tell you what, my brothers and my sisters, it's a lot of people who are shy thinking about what people might think or say about them. But right now, they are fighting for their life in the hospital right now today. It's a lot of people that were shy or was worried about what people might think or say about them right now today. But their life is gone right now today. Do not wait till it's too late. Because tomorrow is not promising nobody. Next week is not promising nobody. Next month is not promising nobody. Next year is not promising nobody. Right now is the day that you have you have to have a made up mind. Say, you know what? I know I haven't asked Jesus to come to my life, but today I have a made up mind. Today I'm not shy. Today I'm not worrying about what, what somebody might think or say about me. I'm asking Jesus to come into my life. And if you really, 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 really for Christ to, to accept Jesus Christ in your life, just head to the altar right now today. Just to make your way to the room right now today. And all you got to say is, Lord Jesus, I don't know what's going to happen. But today is the day that I'm asking you to come into my life to be my Lord and Savior Christ. And once you boldly confess that, right then and there you are saved, you are born again, you have just accepted the Holy Spirit in your life. And I believe somewhere around the world, somebody just asked Jesus to come into their life right now today. The angels are in heaven are rejoicing right now today. I want to say amen to you, my brother and sister. I want to say amen to you, every boy and girl. God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. My brothers, my sisters, I have an amazing, amazing, beautiful word today. I would love to share with every last one of my brothers and my sisters today. And in this word today, I know for a fact that this message is meant for somebody today. It's a time when things not going good your way. It's a time when you go through hardships. It's a time when you go through pain. It's a time when you see other people receiving a blessing and receiving good news, but in the midst of all that, you are still seeking him. You are still praising him. You are still glorifying him. But I believe right now, right now today, you are coming into your season. You already know how it feels to be not in season. But right now, I believe in the mighty name of Jesus that you are coming into your season. I don't know who I'm talking to today, but this message today is clearly for somebody today. Amen? Amen. And before we get started, I always like to take the time out. To give our Heavenly Father God all the thanks, all the praise, and all the glory. Oh, Heavenly Father God, just can't thank you enough for an awesome and beautiful, blessed day today. I can't thank you enough for another day of life today. I can't thank you enough for our health today. I can't thank you enough for our strength today. I can't thank you enough for our hearing and our voice today. I can't thank you enough that we're able to get on our knees today to pray to you today, to worship you today, to give you our problems today, our situation today, our concerns today. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus, for who you are, what you have done, what you're doing. I can't thank you know how you how you you how you providing and making a way for every last one of my brothers my sisters today i can't thank enough for the food that you put on our table today the clothes and shoes on our back today i can't thank enough for our strength i can't thank enough for the air that we able to breathe today i can't thank enough for the for the blood that you got running through our bodies today i just can't thank enough for that you're able to make our heart continue to beat right now today i just can't thank enough for the opportunities right now today i can't thank enough for the second chance right now today i can't thank enough for the anointing i can't thank enough for the blessing. I can't thank enough for the breakthrough. I can't thank enough for what you're doing. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. 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 I just can't thank you enough. That's why I praise you the way I do, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I glorify you the way I do, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I shout out your holy name the way I do, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I trust you the 
way I do because I can't thank you enough. That's why I'm always continuing to walk around on faith every day because I can't thank you enough. I just can't thank you enough. I just can't thank you enough. Glory, hallelujah. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. 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 I just can't thank you enough. I just can't thank you enough. In Jesus, glory, holy mighty name. Glory. Amen. Amen. Now, my brothers and sisters, we're about to get into this word. And I would love y'all to turn y'all Bibles to Ecclesiastes chapter 3, and we're going to read verse 1. That's Ecclesiastes 3, and we're going to read verse 1. And if you have your Bibles open and ready to receive this word today, let the church say amen. Amen. God bless you. There is a time for everything and a season for every activity under heaven. And it's right. There's a time for everything. And there's a season for every activity. So right now, my brothers and my sisters, you already know how it feel not to be in season. You already know how it feel to see other people receiving their anointing, receiving their blessing, receiving their deliverance, receiving their breakthrough, receiving open doors in their season when you was out of season. But one thing that you was doing while you was out of season, you still was trusting Jesus. You still was walking out on faith. You still was seeking him. You still was praising him. You still was going by him. You still was shouting out his holy name each and every day in the mighty name of Jesus. And by that you was going through that season after season after season after season. And by you was going through your drought after season after season. As you were going through season after season not receiving anything, you were still trusting Jesus. You were still praising Jesus. Now, one time did you ever get bitter or sour that somebody else was receiving their blessing or receiving their breakthrough or receiving their deliverance in their season while you weren't getting yours? You didn't do that. See, everybody's not able to do what you was doing, my brothers. Everybody was not able to do what you were doing, my sisters. And by that you was doing that, Jesus took a notice of your action. He took notice of your situation. He took notice of your heart. He said, look at my son right there. He said, look at my daughter right there. It, it really wasn't their season, but they still was trusting me. It wasn't even their season, but they were still walking on on faith. It wasn't one their season, they were still seeking me. It really wasn't their season, they were still praising me. It wasn't their season, and they didn't get sour or bitter. It wasn't their season, and they were still worshiping me. It, was, it still wasn't their season, and they were still crying out my name it really wasn't their season and they did not they not at all but right now my brothers and my sisters when Jesus took a notice of your situation he took notice of your heart he said now now's the time for you and I believe right now in the mighty name of Jesus you are coming into your season of overflow you are coming to your season of blessings you are coming to your season right now of anointing right now. You are coming to your season of deliverance right now. You are coming to your season with land with filled with milk and honey right now. You are coming to your season right now with open doors. You are coming to your season of healing right now. You are coming to your season right now of breakthrough right now. You are coming to your season right now for financial help right now. You are coming to your season of rain right now. You are coming to your season where God's about to do more and more and more than enough in your life that you ever could have expected. I don't know who I'm talking to right now today. I don't know who I'm preaching to right now today, but I know for a fact that you are next, that you are coming into your season. You already know how it feels to be on that drought. You already know how it feels not to receive your blessings. You already know how to feel not to receive your deliverance. You already know how it feels not to receive your breakthrough. But right now, it is your time, my sister. I say right now, it is your time, my brother. I say right now that you, I say right now that you are coming into your season right now. And if you know for a fact that you are coming to your season right now today, I want you to give Jesus some thanks right now today. I want you to give him some praise right now today. I want you to give him some glory right now. But in the midst of all that, I want you to claim it right now today. Say, you know what? This is my time and I am coming into my season right now. Glory, hallelujah. You got to claim it right now. And once you claim it right, claim it right now, say, I receive it right now. I'm stamping approval on it right now because I know that I'm coming into my season. Who I'm preaching to right now today. Who I'm talking to right now today day who know for a fact that you are coming to your season right now today and if you know and if you don't know that you're coming to your season right now today you need to thank him right now today 
Glory, hallelujah. I believe him, <coughs> my brothers. I believe it, my sisters. And that's what I love about this scripture so much. It said there's a time for everything. Yes, it is. It's a time. But you're going to go through hurt. It's a time you're going to go through pain. It's going to go, be a time when things not even adding up. It's not even, it's not even making sense. It's going to be a time. You're going to see a lot of people receive a blessing. They know you're like, but, but where is mine at? I'm doing everything I'm supposed to be doing. Why I'm not receiving my blessing yet? Why not? Why I'm not receiving my note yet? Why not receive my breakthrough yet? Why is not God answering me yet? It's gonna be a time you don't go through that. It's gonna be a time we all gonna go through. It's gonna be a time we all face that. But in the midst of all that, you still was doing the main thing that Jesus was taking the eye on. You still was trusting Him. You still was seeking Him. You still was praising Him. You still was taking the leap of faith every day. You still say, you know what, Jesus? I don't know what's going on right now today. Things are not adding up right now today. Things are not even making sense right now today. But I'm still trusting you anyway. I'm still counting you anyway. I'm still depending on you anyway. I'm still on my knees each and every day praying you anyway. I'm still opening my Bible to receive the word and another message from you anyway. I'm still depending on you and you can go a little far say holy spirit i'm counting you anyway today holy spirit i'm depending on you anyway holy spirit holy spirit continue to guide me holy spirit continue to direct me and when you are saying that and you making these bold moves each and every day it's your time we all go through that i go through it and i believe this is our time this is our season it's coming up this is our time and this is our season this year 2018 I don't know who I'm talking to right now today. I want y'all to be bold right now, my sister and brother. So you know what? 2018 not over with yet. We still have a couple more months, but I know this is our time, and I know this is our year, and I know for a fact this is our season that God is about to show up. He's about to do some amazing things. He's about to open up some doors. Oh, my glory, hallelujah. He's about to do some amazing things in your life right now today, my brothers and my sisters. This is your season. If you've been down here. We know how it feels to be out of season. You already know how it feel not to receive things. You already know how it feel to see other people get their shine on. But now it's your time to shine. It's your time to shine. It's your time to glorify. It's your time to magnify. It's your time to reveal what God has done for you, my sisters. It's your time to show what God has, what God has revealed to you, my brothers. This is your season. And you are next. And if you know that you are next right now today, I want you to give Jesus some praise right now today. Like you never praised him before. And if you know this your season, I want you to glorify him like you never glorified him before. And if you know this your season right now, I want you to shout at his holy name. Glory! Hallelujah. You are up next. This is your season. Amen. Amen. And if this word and if this message is for you today, I want you to give Jesus the thanks and the praise and glory right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Before I close. I always like to end with a prayer. Can you please pray with me? Lord Jesus, I ask of you that come into our life to guide us, direct us, use us, so we can continue to build a relationship with you. And I believe right now in the mighty name of Jesus, by us praying this simple little prayer, that God is already working everything God in our life right now. And if you ever want to get in contact with me or leave me a comment, my YouTube channel is withers.lt. Always keep Jesus first place. Always seek him. Always honor him. Always praise him. And always continue to walk on faith. Always continue to trust him. Even though with things ain't adding up, it's not making sense. Always continue to take a leap of faith. Always trust him. Jesus knows exactly what, Jesus knows exactly what he's doing. And you are coming to your season, my brothers. You are coming into your season, my sisters. I want you to claim it right now. I, want, I said I want you to claim it right now. Amen. Amen. This is Minister LT. I love y'all. Y'all stay blessed. In Jesus' mighty holy name, God bless you. Amen.